I remember watching Fast and Furious when I was very young. Even though it wasn't my habit to judge muscularity back then, I noticed Vin Diesel's appearance, which made him seem above average muscular. Today, going back to those scenes, it is indeed impossible to underestimate the muscle mass he possessed. It's interesting how we see actors work on their posture for the role. Some of them regularly train at the gym for themselves. This was no different for Vin Diesel. Looking through his social media profiles, you can see that weight training is a reoccurring theme. In this case, instead of talking about getting in shape, I will look at his detransformation. The reason for this are the photos in which we see the actor on a yacht with a beer belly. Looking at how his figure has looked over the years, it's easy to see that the protruding belly is a new acquisition for Diesel. Admittedly, he's never really shredded, but until now, he's always kept his body fat levels within reasonable limits. In the best photo of this figure I could find, you can see that most of his fat accumulates right on his belly, with the rest evenly distributed over the rest of his body. At the same time, he is characterized by quite large arms and chest. Over the years, he has presented himself more or less similarly. The rectus abdominis muscle was usually not visible, although there were times where its outline gently poked through. Looking at his back, one can tell that there are some nice muscles underneath, but in general, the whole thing is not very sharp, and his figure is characterized by a blur. Based on this, I would estimate his overall fatness level at the time to be around 20%. Looking at the change in body composition, the percentage is way higher now. Perhaps it's a visual effect, but he also seems to have lost some muscle mass. Currently, his physique could be described as a daddy's body. When I look at his appearance from years ago, what comes to mind is a person who's been training for years but doesn't particularly watch his diet and basically still looks the same. Of course, not everyone's goal is to look like a bodybuilder, and Vin Diesel still looked better and healthier than most people his age. As for the training he used to take care of his physique, we can tell from the materials he shared that he used a classic bodybuilding approach. You can see him pumping his chest on a machine, doing side raises with dumbbells, rowing on a machine, and we can judge his strength in overhead presses with 60 kilos for a few reps, or bicep curls with a weight of about 40 kilos also for reps. Based on the available videos, his strength is at a good level. Surprisingly, Vin Diesel can do the human flag on a vertical bar, and this already requires great strength and stability. As for his diet, he reveals in an interview that he simply tries to eat healthy. Therefore, it can be assumed that he does not have a prepared menu with counted calories, but rather relies on typical home-cooked meals. I don't mention this for no reason, because I'll try to put some possible reasons why Vin Diesel gained some fat despite keeping his figure in check for so many years. Since we're on the subject of diet and training, a few points already come to mind here. It's important to realize that it's impossible for every person who comes to a fitness club to be expected to know how or to want to care about such things as macro distribution in the diet, adequate caloric supply, progressive load increases, or a wisely laid out trading plan. If you look around a typical gym during peak hours, most people just come to move around, and not everyone has aspirations to look like a bodybuilder or fitness girl. I think we can add Vin Diesel to this group, who is primarily an actor, and weight training seems to be a sort of hobby for him. When following a homemade diet, that is, simply eating when we feel the need to do so, it is easy to underestimate the amount we eat, which we know will be deposited as body fat. Such a diet can include many tricky products, that is, those that have a great deal of calories in a small volume. These can include products that contain a lot of fat, such as nuts, oil, red meat, as well as various snacks such as sweets, dried fruits, or highly processed products. Overestimating burn calories and strength training comes right next. I happened to hear at the gym a statement in a convincing tone that training two hours at the gym with a typical bodybuilding plan burns about a thousand calories. Some uninformed might take such a sentence as a fact, allowing himself chocolate later as a reward, because after all, he's trained intensively with weights. However, if you think about the structure of such a workout, the average series lasts a dozen in gusts to tens of seconds, followed by a break, during which we usually wait for the next one. If one were to add up the time during which we do some work, one would accumulate perhaps several minutes. One scientific paper compared energy expenditure in several of the most popular gym exercises. 
It shows that depending on the muscle groups involved in a given exercise and its intensity, we will burn from 3 to more than 20 calories per minute. So, assuming 10 minutes of continuous work on a hard workout with good wins, we should only burn about 200 calories, and this is an optimistic scenario. Of course, with regard to Vin Diesel and what categories one would consider it, it all comes down to the caloric surplus through which his belly has grown. It should also be kept in mind that the actor is already 55 years old and maintaining weight at this age is no longer so easy, all because of the metabolic changes that occur with aging. One scientific paper focused on this issue. It should come as no surprise that there is a tendency among people in their 40s to grow fat. The authors point out that this is due, among other things, to decreasing energy expenditure at rest, as well as the diminished thermal effect of food. In general, physical activity levels decline with age. This followed by hormonal changes and declining levels of testosterone, which levels are also associated with changes in body composition. Hypothetically, even if Vin Diesel has more or less the same lifestyle and a similar dietary style as he once did, it may have been too much for his aging body to consume such a supply of food. In this case, a reduction in exercise may have played a role because, judging by his smaller muscles, we can assume that he has either reduced or completely abandoned weight training. To summarize why Vin Diesel is losing shape, it's all a result of caloric surplus, but it can be due to a sedentary lifestyle, among other things, and a small brick is added by metabolic changes that occur with age. When you watch TV after work, not only does your daily energy needs drop significantly, but also your muscle mass level decreases, which will make the problem even worse. Remember, however, that the whole case is not a reason and does not explain body shaming. My channel brings together a group of people who focus on improving their physique and fitness. However, you need to be aware that this is not the goal for everyone in society. Everyone has different responsibilities and interests. Bodies with a six-pack and a big bicep should not be expected at every turn. When evaluating silhouettes, we should look through the prism of what is expected of them. It will have different meaning to say that someone has a great physique in relation to a professional bodybuilder and a different meaning to a non-athlete. Vin Diesel is first and foremost an already older actor who is not required to be fit. Even looking at Arnold Schwarzenegger, his current physique is far from what one would expect from him, but it is no longer in his interest. Is this what a 54-year-old natural looks like? Mike O'Hearn is a unique individual who knows how to combine muscle building with strength results. He was able to outclass his competitors during a powerlifting competition and then, a few weeks later, do the same on the bodybuilding scene while being cut to the bone. He is impressive with the quality of his physique and he breaks his own records. Check out the suggested video where I discuss his story and ponder whether he is a natural.